When you receive an email from IT for Innovations about how to connect to one of our clusters, it will most likely look something like this. It will state your login credentials, that is, your username and your password, and instructions about how to generate a new SSH public-private key pair and where to upload it. Your public key will be then used by the server to create an encrypted message that can only be read by a person holding a corresponding private key. When you attempt to establish an SSH or secure shell connection, server will send you this message. When you send the deciphered message uh, back to the server, it will serve as a proof of your identity, meaning that it is indeed you who is trying to connect to this server and the connection can therefore be established. So let's create one. First, we need to download an SSH client that will handle the connection for us, such as PuTTY. Our email will contain an address where to download it. After the download finishes, simply install PuTTY at your desired location and to generate our SSH public and private key pair. Here we can select a more secure type of key, EDDSA, and then click Generate and follow the program's instructions. Once the key pair is generated, we can fill in the key comment section to make it more memorable, and the passphrase section, which will make sure that our key is password protected. Next we save our public and private keys and then submit the public key as a rule of thumb, the shorter one, to the IT4 innovations in a format generated by PuTTY Key Generator. Fill in our username and password provided in the email and click Send. Once it's done, we can use our new SSH key to set up the PuTTY client. As a hostname, we'll use our username at address we want to connect to. So in our case, it'll be dd-22-28-31 at Login one dot Carolina dot IT four I dot CZ. Then we'll go to SSH and authentication and make sure that allow agent forwarding and attempt authentication using pageant uh, boxes are checked, and we provide our private key. Then we can go back to session, name our configuration. For example, login1.carolina and hit save to preserve it for future use. At last, we click open and provide our SSH key passphrase.